I can't believe this is happening. All right, so since we are going to be walking our way through all these countries for the most part, um, we know we're going to be getting 30,000 steps a day. So it's very important to have a really good shoe, or in my case, boot. These are the Danner Mountain 600s. I did an extensive amount of research on what I wanted to be wearing. I wanted something that was going to be really comfortable, really light, and also waterproof. Um, so these were the best option that I found, and I was super excited to get them, and I'm so excited to have them. So they have two different kinds of waterproofing. The leather is treated, so it's waterproof, and then they also have a waterproof layer underneath the leather. They have Vibram soles, so that's the same kind of soles you'll find in like Chaco sandals and stuff like that. And everybody loves Chacos, come on. Um, but I decided to go with the leather look um, instead of something else because I thought that this might match more of what I was gonna wear. Um, and I'm just super excited to have these. I've never really had a really good pair of boots, so I'm gonna have these forever. And that's kind of what I was thinking about when I went about purchasing these. Purchasing these? <laughs> well, what did I have forever and what could be a fun thing to look at as a memory right. to. So for my stuff, I'm gonna start with the little things and then I'll work up to the big things. So first things first, we have our tech bag. So in our tech bag, we have a few different items. One of the main things, because we're going to Europe and European plugs are different, we got a converter and we got this on Amazon for I wanna say like $9. It has everything that we could want as far as plugins, and then it also has uh, two USB ports on the side. That'll be very useful. Uh, we have a headphone splitter. We're gonna bring an iPad. And we're gonna mostly use this just for our entertainment on long bus rides and flights if they don't have an entertainment system for us. But this way, we can both be listening to the iPad through our own sets of headphones, and we won't be bothering other people around us. So that was the best option we could come up with. Uh, we have a spare power bank, an extra wall plug-in, just in case, and then also an extra USB-C cable. Both of our phones take USB-C. Um, also, in my, in my main pack right here, I also have an extra iPad charger cable, um, headphones, and an extra USB-C cable for our phones. Next up is my toiletry bag. It's really small, really simple. This can pack down really tightly, just like this. So inside what we have are your super basic necessities. So your toothbrush, I'm probably gonna end up cutting this in half just cause I don't need a full length toothbrush. Um, toothpaste, um, hair gel, some soap, tweezer, and then deodorant. I also am probably gonna go ahead and get the little travel deodorant cause I don't need a full size. Um, but I kind of wanted to get an idea of how much this setup would take up in my pack. And then lastly, I have a spare uh, razor cartridge. Moving on from there, in the top of my backpack, I'm going to put a very basic first aid kit. In it, we just have band-aids, ointments, some ibuprofens, and some other type of basic pain or allergen relief medication. Um, we got some rubber gloves in there because you never know what you're going to run into when you're out. We're going to be planning on doing a lot of hiking. Um, so I'm a wilderness first aid certified. So. It's just always good if you know how to use stuff to bring it with you. So I'm going to always have a first aid kit with us. Brooke and I love cards and we always seem to forget to bring cards on our trips. So we have ended up buying a lot of cards. Like when we went to Banff, Canada, we forgot cards. So we got Canada cards. But we are not looking to spend money on cards this trip. We have like eight decks. So one deck of playing cards in each of our packs. All right, so this is one of the things I'm most excited about. This is a very fancy travel pillow. So I had another video that I made, and I'll link it in the bottom, of how this works. But I tested it on our last trip last month when we went to Florida. And I hate trying to sleep on planes, trains, or cars, or buses. And I have one of those like traditional neck ones, but it was terrible. So I got this on Amazon. It came with a face mask, some earplugs, and then the actual travel pillow, which actually allows you to sleep, like bend over forward like this with your arms in front of you. And I was, the thing I was most worried about the trip was the flight over and the flight back. I just thought I'd freak out because I can't. I know I can't sleep. But I tried this out on the plane to Florida. It worked great, and I'm excited to try it on a longer haul flight. All right, so let's get into the clothes that I'm gonna wear. So I actually have some Petzl um, climbing harness bags that I'm gonna use for packing cubes. I looked online, and the Eagle Creek cubes that I wanted to get were way too expensive. And I'm normally kind of a brand snob. Brooke will tell you. 
and it kind of felt weird for me to not use that for what its purpose is, because I know they're the best, but I had these laying around, so why would I not use them? I ended up even using Ziploc bags for packing cubes. They work just fine. So in here, I have three pairs of pants, two pairs of Brian Piranha pants, which are my favorite pants of all time. They are incredible travel, climb, hike, anything you would ever want to do, but they still look really nice. Um, a pair of jeans, and then my belt. And then in another one of those uh, pencil cases, I have a pair of shorts. So this pair of shorts are really nice because they're 10,000, uh, that's the brand, 10,000 shorts. They're more exercise workout pants. But they also have a liner inside of them. So it's a pair of shorts, but also an extra pair of underwear. Um, I have some sweats, some Adidas sweats in here, and then a nicer um, yellow top. Because, you know, if you're in Europe, you got semi presentable. And then I also have one extra pair of Nike Dry Fit shorts in here as well. All right, so here is where the Ziploc packing cubes come in. In this Ziploc, I have, I think, four t-shirts. Um, two of them are more technical. So they have, uh, like, I mean, Black Diamond is the maker of one of them. And then two, just like your cotton, basic cotton undershirts. And then one nicer V-neck. Um, that I'm looking forward to wear with any of those pants that I just said. Something to think about when you are putting your uh, travel outfits together is you want to make sure that everything matches everything. So there's not just one pair of uh, clothes, uh, one clothing item that you can't wear with anything else. Moving on from there, we have all of my socks and underwear. Um, for socks, we went with Smart Wool. So we got on Black Friday, Brooke and I both got two pairs of Smart Wool from Steep and Cheap. If you've never shopped on Steep and Cheap, you should probably do that. They have absolutely incredible deals. So if you've heard of backcountry.com, they have a lot, that's a, just a gear website. Um, it's a it's an offshoot of backcountry.com. It's where Backcountry sends all of their like really good deals. So steepandcheap.com. Um, like I said, two pairs of smart wool. And then I have another like thicker pair of um, wool hiking socks. And then four pairs. Yeah, four pairs of underwear. I went with pair of thieves, and then I have a, a nice Under Armour pair of underwear, and then some silk, because, you know, you gotta feel good every once in a while. And lastly, in this outdoor research cube, I don't really know if I like how thick this is yet. It might get ditched last second. Um, I have three nicer uh, tops. So I have a nice um, mountain hardware top that will go with anything, and it looks pretty nice, but it's also very breathable and a good layer. Um, under that, I have like a full long sleeve button up that I can wear if Brooke and I are going to go out for a fancy date. And then after the, under that, I have a nice uh, polo um, that I can wear again for a nice fancy date. I'm going to be wearing some Danner boots that I just got as well. But if I don't want to be wearing boots, I just thought I might bring some nice slippers. Um, Sanco, Sanok. I don't know how to pronounce them, but these are going to take up like next to no space. I'm going to put them on the outside of my pack and it's just going to be very nice to not always have to put big boots on, even though those boots are the most comfortable things I've ever worn as far as boots go in my life. Lastly, a few um, extra little things, um, just a hat. I'm going to put this on the bottom of my pack, an extra um, sealable pouch. I don't know why, but you never know. It's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. And then in this little packet right here, I have a my little owl hat. It's just a really thin hat that if I need something light, I can put on. Uh, extra buff, so I could use that as a scarf, as a hat, as a face shield, as an eye mask to sleep with. Doesn't really matter. And then a microfiber towel, because I don't know if wherever we're staying at, we're staying in a lot of Airbnbs. They might not have a towel, or we're staying in a hostel one night, they might not have a towel for us. So I thought I might bring that as well. And that's all the stuff that I'm bringing for my two-month trip to Europe.